Now let's take a look at some position problems they might give you and they're going to say all right take a look once again at this figure and let's assume you had a VOR indication of VOR number one. So here's VOR number one and it's 0, 3, 0 set in the OBS. You have a left hand needle and a two indication. Now the question is where are you? Well, let's cheat. Let's go back to Sulphur Springs VOR DME on this chart and let's put the piece of paper on top of Sulphur Springs there and rotate it exactly the way they told us to at 030. And so we got it looking down 030 now. And what they told us is that we have 030 and 2 in a left hand needle. That means you'd have to be down here. Here's 030, here's 2, and here's a left hand needle. Uh, so you're in that quadrant down there. How would you characterize this quadrant? Well, you'd, would you say it was north, south, east, or west of the VOR? And the answer is it's south of the VOR. So where would you be? Well, the correct answer on the test is you'd be south of the station. That's too easy. Let's do another one. This time, let's go back to this figure, and your VOR receiver is as indicated in number three there. And once again, it's 0, 3, 0, neutral in a left hand needle. So the question is, where are you? Well, let's try it again. So when you go to Sulphur Springs VOR, you put your piece of paper over the top of it, rotate 0, 3, 0 in the OBS, and the question says you have neutral, that's in here somewhere, and it says you have a left hand needle. So you're gonna be on this line, here's from, here's to, here's neutral, and this is all left hand needle. How would you characterize that position? Well, you'd characterize it as being on this line right here, and so you'd be southeast of the station. Now let's take a look at this chart. Holy mackerel, what a mess here. Well, it is a complicated place. It's a Dallas-Fort Worth area. And they're going to say that you've tuned in to the Maverick VOR DME, and here it is just south of Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. And they're going to say you've set 253 degrees in your OBS. So whip out your trusty old piece of paper, put a right smack dab on top of the VOR DME, and rotate the OBS until it reads 253 degrees. So we've done all of that. And then they say to you, look at your panel on your aircraft and you see your VOR indicator and it says you get a two and a right hand needle indication the question is where would you be and the answer is you'd be down in this quadrant right here if you had a two and a right hand needle so they'll give you three answer choices they're going to say are you north northeast of the VOR DME well we said we we're down here this would be north northeast so no that wouldn't be a right answer so then they're going to say how about your west southwest well, no, you're here. That's two and a right hand needle. This would be west southwest, so that wouldn't be a correct answer. So then they're going to say to you, how about east northeast? Well, that's the only answer they have available to you. If you're east northeast, you could say that this area right here could be east northeast. It's a bad answer, but it's the least bad of all the three answers they give you. So this is the least bad answer that you're east-northeast of the VOR DME.